guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Today is experiment day. I'm gonna do some more blooms, but this time um, I want to make the cell activator be unobtrusive. Normally, uh, you make it stand out and use different colors or whatever, and you see um, the lacing and everything be really prominent. Today, I want it to like merge into the background. I know that doesn't make any sense right now, but what I'm gonna do is take my cell activator, my base, my house paint, and the first puddle of color that I put down, all be the same color in hopes that when I blow it out, the cells and everything are the prominent feature instead of the lacing. <laughs> I think I'll just go paint because it's it's not conveying on camera, I'm sure. It will, it'll make sense when we get started. So uh, let me put my hair up and put my sweater on and we'll get started. <laughs> okay, just a little experiment to see what the art looks like when your base color, your first puddle color and your cell activator color are all the same. So just a little chunky six inch square canvas. Something like that. So let's do, oh wow, this works with the white. So white on white with white cell activator, but we'll put in some black and gold for colors. So I'm gonna put our white on white. gold. This is a little piggy called Harvest Gold. This is Black Oxide by Amsterdam as a color. And we'll do to white again. Gold again. And black again. And then we'll get the white cell activator. Which is this one. All right, let's blow this out, see what, happens, what it looks like. <laughs> it looks like a lot of silvers what it looks like <laughs> mm, maybe with all the silver gray maybe not so many layers yeah I think uh, the double layer kind of threw that off I'm just gonna go right on top of this uh, maybe push where's my stick Push the colors back together. Make those a little envelope. One, two, four, since we didn't spin it out or anything. Three, four. Oh, there's a little pin on that thing. We can just scrape up and flip over there. And there, go away, bubble. You too, bubble. And. All right. Do over. Let's just do the three layers. So, white on white. Gold. Black 
black is a color. White cell activator. All right. See if this comes out all gray. Yes, it does, but it's prettier and it's got the gold cells with the rings around them. So, let me just take my little palette knife. Got some deep sides here to get to. Put some color there so it runs off the corner. Same with here. So I had this vision that it would like, I don't know, that you wouldn't be able to see where the lacing um, came from. Like there wouldn't be a big distinction that makes any sense because the base color and the first puddle color and the cell activator color were all the same. That was kind of my idea. Let's give this a little baby spin just to knock out the corners, hopefully. A little more. So if you're gonna spin hard and fast, then you don't do it for very long. And if you're gonna give a baby spin, you can just let it spin. I kinda, let's just cut something in the middle. Like that, just go ahead, roll off. You. Let it drip down my sides. That's quite striking though, gotta say. I want this little part to come off. Almost. Did that do it? Yes, it did. Just gonna let it sit a second. Kind of a failed experiment. I mean, I don't know. Maybe not. Um, so basically, uh, most people do like a shocking color, and I know I have in the past in older videos, um, where you get the shocked effect when you use like oh, a teal or a, a bright magenta as a cell activator color, and you can really, really see the lacing. This is the opposite, where you want it to be um, unobtrusive. That's the idea here is to make the lacing, like do it, do its job and show the separation, but do it quietly. So there's one, I'm gonna try it again. Um, it, it'll be different cause I don't have, maybe I have black house paint. I'm gonna grab my black house paint and we'll do the reverse and do everything where the house paint, the first puddle, and the cell activator are all black. And we'll see what that looks like. Let me put him to the side and I'll be right back. Okay, so reverse this time. So I'm gonna pour a black base. This is color to go. It is tricorn black. A friend gave it to me, so uh, I had to look. Maybe a little more. Got deep sides to consider. Okay, there we go. Now, reverse. So I have white as a color. Wait, that's a cell activator. So we'll do white first. Wait, white gold white? White black? No, we do black first. <laughs> so put black down as a color first. So black on black. And then we'll do the gold. And then white as a color. And then black cell activator. Gotta keep my cups straight. 
picking up this is a saw activator. And let's see what this looks like. Oh boy, I'm gonna blow this out. lost all my gold all of it poof I ran away so I'm out of here I am out of here I might do this one again too and switch up the order let me puff in the middle see if I get some gold Nope, just all black and white. I mean, there's little hints of it. And I mean, it's pretty for its cells, but that's another do over. Calling lots of mulligans today, all in the name of experimenting. So let's flip this over as well. So that didn't work. And I'm afraid if I put gold last and then the black cell activator, like, I don't know. I kind of feel like that would disappear as well. No, that's got white. I'm gonna dissect that off. I need black. So we'll leave it, we'll leave it like that and just um, add a little black in the middle. All right, let's try it again. All right, black is a color. What are you? Okay, your black is a color. And then we'll do white as a color. And then gold. And then the black cell activator. I think that'll be better. Where's the black cell activator? Let's see what happens. that sew up a lot. See, you got the gold to show up. So it'll be interesting spinning this out if um, it looks the same as the last guy. <laughs> uh, it's fun to experiment though, it really is. So let's throw some paint on my corners just so we get coverage on these deep sides here. Here, that's gonna fly off. Here, that's gonna fly off too. Whoa, the uh, color to go paint is much runnier than my uh, Glidden Essentials. I can really tell the difference. And I prefer my paints a little thicker. Personal preference. I just get better results for me. Other people get better results with a thinner. All right, there. Yeah, super deep sides. All right. Huh. 
Let me, can you guys really see? Hold on. Grab my popsicle stick for a second. Hopefully you can see better. It's kind of cool. It's a little bit different than um, the white iteration. The separation of the cells without it, without you actually seeing, um, without the uh, cell actor being, being the focal point and more in the background, just kind of doing its job is quite striking i think uh than the other piece i think i actually like this black one better i'm gonna do one more and throw a third color in and um but let me uh put him next to uh, his sister and you'll see the uh, results from this little experiment be right back okay just this is just totally totally for gig giggles i have this uh, eight by 10 chunky canvas and um, I have all this leftover black and white and a little bit of gold and I made up um, this brick red color. This is uh, Amsterdam Kaput Mortem mixed with a little bit of black, a little bit of magenta, uh, everything but the kitchen sink, just a little homemade color. And I'm just gonna do I don't know. Let's just be goofy and make a puddle there. Make a puddle white around it for no reason whatsoever. Just playing. I'm kind of worried because there are two different viscosities between those paint brands. But what the hell? And then, well, now I got black and white. Um, so we'll start off, I guess, with my my brick red color. Since, and then I'm just totally winging this one. If it's hideous, um, that's because yours truly was goofing off. So there. Um, I don't know. I guess some black. I like white with gold. Let me do white as a color. Make sure I have the right cup. White. Let's do... Well, since I have black and white house paint, maybe I should use black and white cell activator, right? Yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Hmm. Let's see, white first. We'll do white. Where's the cell activate? Okay, that's cell activator. And then let's throw a black on that too. Got the right cup? Yeah. Let's throw a little more black around this one side because it looks kind of barren there. I don't know. Playing, y'all. Just having a good old time playing. Let's blow this out. a terrible blowout. I was too busy being fascinated by the, the colors and what they were doing. Let that collect a second. Maybe throw one 
I don't know, maybe some black over here. I don't know if I like this. Just to help it get to the edges, maybe some, oh, I think that's close enough, it's gonna make it. Um, yeah, I don't like the color to go, I, and I might be in a minority, like it just really, it's not um, thick enough to like hold cell shapes to me. Or that's just because I'm so used to the other. Let's uh, try to center it a little bit, and we'll give it a spin. Maybe it'll work out. Whoa, Cell City. It's too much for me, it is too much. But I mean, if, hold on, let me uh, ignore that part. Like if you like cells, hold, holy good grief. Look at this, let me hold it up. Like, insanity. See like for me, that's just like too busy. If you're a cell lover though, and you just wanna see all cells, you know, on the All Cell channel 24 seven, that <laughs> maybe give that a whirl, but that's way, way too busy for my eye. One and two, I don't like that color. <laughs> that's, uh, as usual, I have to do everything twice, I swear, but um, it's too much, right? I mean, phenomenal. What's interesting to me is that the white um, there's like black underneath here, but all the cells are ringed in white, no matter what. The gold here is, the white is here, the black is here, and the brick red is everywhere else. But, oh, oh my gosh. Now it's gonna be interesting to scrape since I have two different colors, uh, you know, of house paint. What is it? It's both! <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that. That is totally awesome. Oh, that gives that makes me smile. So I'm gonna go again and omit that the brick red color. I just didn't like it. Um yeah, why not? So let's see, a little bit of black down the middle here. Maybe a little more for my deep sides. And then it did seem to matter um, that the color to go um, is a little runnier. I mean, it did, I think, in terms of holding cell shapes, but as for spinning and whatnot, it was like, yeah, I can roll with you. So, all right, let's grab, is this white? No, that's so activator. Let's put white here. And then go, and then black is a color. No, you're so activator. Where's my black color? Okay. Black is a color. White cell activator. Black cell activator. Fun, fun, fun. All right, let's see what happens now. So much fun. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. I am not gonna puff in that middle because this is Cell City again. Like it's been super, super reactive. And um, I need some quiet area, I do. Let me grab, let me throw some color on my corners. Like there's a bunch of cells, let's put you there.
with this U here. Hmm. I'm going to match up the gold and put the gold side by side there. And then I think I'm going to have to pour some paint up here. Just like a little dollop here. Look how much that middle collected. Good thing I didn't puff here. All right. Make sure this touches everywhere. There we go. Now I'm worried that that center is too much black, right? Like it looked nice when it was uh, first open, but uh, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Geronimo. I think it's gonna be Cell City again, like totally. Oh, better, better. Got a couple quiet areas. Oh my gosh, that is freaking stunning. That might be one of my best ever, I swear. I am freezing, freeze, stop the presses. Call your mama. Get your Aunt Lou over to your house to see this right away. That is, I'm, I'm afraid to move or breathe or anything. Um, do I need to spin it again? I really don't want to. I'm trying to think. I flipped over the uh, colors. I only added colors on the side. I'm going to risk it. Now, here's me. Here's Karen being so damn picky. You see that little spot of white? I want it gone. Did it go? Then, nope, you, it can stay. I'm like, you can stay. Because <laughs> that's just, you don't mess with, with that. Um, let me put him next to the other two guys. I think the third one, where it was just a combo of everything, is the best one. Again, I really, really, really cannot stress this enough. Like how the cell activator color isn't the star of the show. That was the whole point of this uh, experiment, is to get it to do its job and not stand out, which is the total opposite of what I've been doing for the last year and a half, because you know I have all these videos where I've used different color cell activators with the turquoise and the pink and the gold, and this time it was the star of the show is just the cells and the lacing. Uh, Pretty great. Be right back. Okay, here's the close-up view of the wet results. Uh, this is the first one. So this is the white base, white first color, and white cell activator. It got a little wonky because when I was moving it, I kind of jiggled it because I had butter fingers. But it's still very, very pretty and cool. Um, the gray isn't muddy, it's just a different look. And this one has the, the only one, um, not the only one, it has the black cells and the gold cells and the white. So it has all three. This is number two with the black base, black first puddle and black cell activator. Uh, I kind of adore this one. Um, this one I think represents the cell activator doing its job without being the star of the show like because to me the cells are what stand out and not the cell activator um, for the lacing it really makes clear very clear uh, definition around the cells without it um, taking over same with this one though like the white because you can see the white but it's definitely not the star of the show the cells are so there's those two from the experiment. I think I'm gonna give a nod to this one as my favorite. And then the hodgepodge one, where you just never know what sometimes. This one is just amazing. I don't, I'm gonna have to play it back to see what I did. Let me turn the camera this way and try to get rid of the glare. Uh, look how fine the lines are. 
like making the lacing without being show-offy, if that makes sense. Oop, my finger's in the way. Like this. Just, just gorgeous. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sell this one. This might be a keeper. It's just, uh, I think one of my best. Definitely trying to get the glare off of it. It's hard because, you know, the colors. But there they all are. Oh yeah, see, it's just uh, Glare City. There they all be. Um, I'll show the dried results in the next video because I'm woefully uh, behind in getting up a video. See you guys soon. Let me flip around and say goodbye. Okay guys, back with the dried results from this uh, little experiment. Let's start with the first one. This one here. It sort of kind of worked. Like you really don't notice the big lines of the um, of the cell activator in this one. This one got a little wonky because when I, I was doing this, and <laughs> I had butterfingers uh, when I was moving this one around. But there's the first one. It's okay, not my favorite. Uh, I really, really like the second one. Whoa, I'm so close. Let me back up. Uh, here's the second one. This one is cool. So this was done with the um, the black house paint. Black is a color and then a black cell activator. And I think the cells are the star of the show there more than the lines from um, the cell activator blowing it out. Or maybe not, you guys tell me, but I like that little guy. He's cool, really cool. He's, he's worthy of resin. I don't know about the first one. And then the third one, the hodgepodge one uh, that I was having fun with uh, is this one here. It worked really well. Look how fine the lacing is. Like really, really subtle. And all you're really noticing are the cells. So for this one, it worked out really, really well. Um, I, I like adore this one. The other thing I wanted to point out too is that when, they, um, three, when you had those three colors, Sometimes your cell activator sinks and like makes big divots and here I know oh, it's gonna be hard It barely sank at all like can you see that like very very little boy that's shiny um, The second vein, Pretty much and then other areas it didn't do it at all like it like up here and over here Hardly any sinking very interesting Anyway, that's it for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my crazy little experiment. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.